Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and my hashtag pay drivers for a video will have to be delayed one more day. I'm sorry, I had it filmed, I had it edited, and then I realized that the date that I had chosen for the big event that I was going to announce happened to fall on a religious holiday, and no one would show up to it. So I've got to redo the whole thing because of that mistake. But on the positive side, I still have a video for you today because Volvo has officially stepped up to the plate along with the LiDAR people. They have stepped up and they have gotten their microphone and they're like, eh, eh not my fault, this woman dying, it's Uber's fault. Here's, here's what I'm talking about. Uber Technologies disabled the standard collision avoidance technology in the Volvo SUV that struck and killed a woman in Arizona last week, according to the auto parts maker that supplied the vehicle's radar and camera. Quote, we don't want people to be confused or think it was a failure of the technology that we supply for Volvo. Of course you wouldn't. Because that's not the case, Zach Peterson, a spokesperson for Aptiv PLC, said by the phone. The Volvo XC90 standard advanced driver assistance system, quote, has nothing to do with the Uber test vehicle's autonomous driving system, he said. Aptiv is speaking up for its technology to avoid being tainted by the fatality involving Uber, Uber, which may have been following standard practices by disabling other tech as it develops and tests its own autonomous driving system. Uber's system failed to slow the vehicles as you know, 49-year-old victim Elaine Hertzberg crossed the street pushing a motorcycle. So, Uber declined to comment. A Volvo spokesperson of the company can't speculate on the cause of the incident and is awaiting a full investigation report. So, here's, frankly, what I want to ask. Because it's good to put a little bit of perspective with all these companies. Look, I hate Uber so much, and they deserve everything that's coming to them for this. But... Let's also not totally rule out that, hey, maybe it was the Volvo sensors. Maybe the LiDAR technology failed. The government let them on the roads without any safety standards. I mean, it's interesting because the fallout is going to be so great. You can see the companies are scrambling to deny that they had any part in the accident before we even know exactly what caused it clearly the car didn't stop that is an undisputed fact the only thing we don't know is why didn't it stop we know why the driver didn't stop it because she was either texting or sleeping behind the wheel but what caused the car to not see the woman what caused the car not to stop that's what we can't figure out yet that's what we're still waiting for and in my opinion it's foolish for these companies to be standing up and denying involvement because what if they are part of the problem? What if the LADAR sensor doesn't work? What if the Volvo car just, what if the safety system wasn't disabled? Like, do we know for sure Uber disabled it? And what if the thing that failed in the Uber car is something that could fail in any of the autonomous vehicles currently on the road and by the way waymo some of your technology is in uber's car so i wouldn't be so confident that your cars could avoid it either we we just don't know this thing yet what we know is that the car failed it didn't stop it killed a woman uber is responsible i mean that's one thing i can get behind uber is responsible regardless of what comes out because it was uber's car and they were pushing for this and well, now you have it. But we we might discover that the problem might be more widespread. Who, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I do know one thing, though. The crash has set back this autonomous race for who knows how long. And people's trust in the technology, low as it was. I mean, seriously, have you ever talked to millennials? and ask them about driverless cars. I mean, some of them are curious, but how many of them are actually like, yeah, um, driverless cars, that's what's going to be. Not many. Not many. So, yeah, this Uber done screwed the whole industry up. Now, for how long, who knows? 
but they that's what this is really going to lead to. And the other companies just simply want to make sure you know that even though they were doing business with Uber and they were involved with Uber and that they helped design these things that Uber did to make these cars run, they're not responsible. They just aren't. But what do you think? Do you think Volvo's responsible? Do you think their response makes sense? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos I make, consider becoming a patron member of one dollar a month. And stay tuned for the daily ride share. I promise we will get those hashtag pay driver fare videos very, very soon. I just gotta pick a better date to announce some stuff. So anyway, flame responsibly. Have a good one.